Now this question is really fun. We have a three-dimensional object. Um, and when we're working with this, it's really helpful if we decompose this and draw these 3D images in two dimensions. And so let's take a look at how we would begin that. So first of all, um, let's, let's begin by labeling our diagram. HD is equal to GC. So HD and GC are equal, and they're both five centimeters in length. So five centimeters. EA is equal to FB. EA and FB, and these are both two centimeters. Sorry, I keep bumping my stand here. And then I have AD, which is, or sorry, AD, which is six centimeters, and AB, which is eight centimeters. And what we first want to do is name four rectangles in our diagram. Okay, well, I have AEFB, or ABEF, ABEF. Um, Let's see what else I have. I have EH, so e, e H G F. So this is a rectangle here, the surface. So H, G, E, F. Then I have A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And then I have the back side here, which is uh, H, D, C, G. So H, D, C, G. Um, now, we want to calculate the angle of HEA. So the angle of HEA is this big angle here. Now, if I were to take this side and redraw it, it's going to look something like this. Now, I know that a portion of this makes up a right angle, and then I have a, a smaller angle in, embedded inside. But what I need is that whole, this whole angle. And so... We, I also know that this is 5 centimeters and this is 2 centimeters. And I know that the bottom of this rectangle here is 6 centimeters. And so all i got to do is find out what this angle is. Now, uh, luckily, I can do that if I, um, if I just use this portion and this portion. Now, if this is 5 and this is 2, that means that this smaller section is going to be 3 centimeters. And so that's what I'm going to use with my tan ratio again. And if I'm using, um, if I'm looking for the angle, then what I want to do is use the inverse tan ratio of the opposite side, which is three, and my adjacent side, which is six. Um, if I if I find the uh, if I type that in tan negative one. 3 divided by 6, I get an angle of 27 degrees. Now, and, and that's um, just that smaller angle. But remember, what I got to do is add it to my angle of 90 degrees. And so what I'm actually left with is 100 and, uh, 117 degrees. Now, for my next question... I want to calculate the measure of angle HFE to the nearest degree. Now, HFE, we have to look at where that is. So angle HFE, what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw uh, the surface of this object because the surface was HGEF. And if I'm looking for angle uh, HFE, then that's the angle given to me right here. Now, there's only a few pieces of information I know. I only know that this is 8 centimeters, and that's it. I don't know what this side length here is. Now, in order to find out that side length, HE, what I need to do is find out what this side length is here, because this is also HE. So if I find out this side length of HE, which... I could do by using my um, my tr my uh, Pythagorean theorem. So three squared plus six squared is equal to H E or C squared. So three squared plus six squared is equal to C squared, and then the square root of um, nine and thirty six is equal to my value of C. And what I get there for my value of C is 6.7 if I round. Now I have this 
side length, I can then use my tan ratio again, which is going to become 10 negative 1, 6.7 divided by 8, and that value of my angle, I'm going to round to 40 degrees because it ends up being 39.9 degrees. And lastly, what we want to do is determine the measure of angle HBD to the nearest degree. So HBD, that is from H to B all the way to D. And this is also a pretty tricky one. Uh, first thing we're going to have to do is redraw that part of the triangle and label what we actually have. So this is H, this is D, and this is B. And um, what we know is that this is five centimeters. And in order to find out uh, this side length, what we got to do is use another smaller triangle. And so we got to use this triangle here, which is six, eight, and eight. And we got to find out this side length here. But what we have is a three, four, five triangle. We've just multiplied everything by two. And so we know if we use Pythagorean theorem that this is going to equal 10 centimeters which means that there is, ten, or sorry, not that part there. This part is 10 centimeters, and that's 5 centimeters. And we want to know angle B. And what we're going to have to do is, again, use the inverse 10, but of 5 over 10 again, which is uh, the same thing as 1 half and 10. Um, 1 half is equal to an angle of 27 degrees. That was the first thing we found out.